let's take a look at how we can use uh, prompts and alerts within our Google Sheets. So I already have some script written and what this will do is just give me that uh, menu that I need that will set up uh, a custom menu called custom code alerts and then create a sub menu called alerts. It adds a bunch of things to it and then I add that to my, to my menu and we create a, a sub menu called prompts and we add a bunch of things to that as well. So if we go into our spreadsheet, we can see our custom code menu. And if I click one of these, we're going to get an error because we haven't actually defined that function. So let's go ahead and try that. We'll create a function here, function, and we can just copy and paste the function name we gave it. And this is actually pretty easy. Let's go ahead and retrieve our UI. And then UI we'll use to alert. And that's pretty much all we have to do. We just send that alert. Now if we click this, go to custom code alerts and click alert user, we just get this nice prompt. Not bad. But we might want to do something with buttons so that we have some idea of what the user actually clicked. So let's try this now. We will use the alert user cancel and we're going to do a similar thing so we can copy that first line of code, retrieve that UI. Uh, and once we have that we want to use UI alert and we want to say hey you and but we also want to provide a button set so we use bot ui dot button set dot okay cancel now to find out what this is we need to get the result so var result is equal to this ui alert and then we can say well this is going to give us back a button so if result is equal to ui button okay we can say, well, let's just log it. Logger, log, user pushed a button. That was OK. And otherwise, there's only one other option. So now, if we go back to our spreadsheet and we run this, uh, that one still works. And we run the second one, we get a cancel button. And if the user hits cancel, when we look at our log, we'll see that the cancel button was pushed. So we can actually determine what this is, you know, if we if we run it again and hit OK and view our log. We'll see that we get the OK button. So it can pick up on which button we actually pushed. So last function here in the alerts, we we use a title. And we will create a function called alert user with title. And we'll get our UI object. And we will use our UI to send the alert. But this time we're going to say, we're going to give it a title. And then we're going to pass in an alert. And then we're going to pass in a button set. And we can just use OK this time. So go back to our spreadsheet, we click on alert with a title, and we get this nice title in our alert dialog. So this is something we can move around and we can click OK and we can get rid of that. So not too bad on the alert side. Let's go ahead and take a look at prompts because they work a little bit differently. So let's go ahead, we'll copy this and we will create a function here called prompt user. And we'll do the same thing, we'll retrieve our UI. And then we will use prompt. And then prompt is going to give us back a prompt response. So we could do something like, what is your name? And we can say response. So now if we want to say, well, we can take that name and we can alert back. So we could use ui.alert, hello and then response.getResponseText. text. So when we go to custom code alerts or custom code alerts prompts and prompt the user we could say hey what is your name and you can enter that and then it will alert you with that variable that ver that result of what that was. But we have to use this response object to get the response text or get the button clicked. So let's try that again with this prompt user with a yes and no function prompt, prompt user yes no. I'm going to start with the same thing. We're going to use UI 
and then we're going to use var response is equal to UI dot prompt let's try this will you tell me your name and we can provide a yes no so if we want to know if yes was clicked if response dot get selected button equals UI dot button okay then we could you know ask again or we could send an alert and if we say no else because we just use yes no here oh we didn't act, we need to tell it to use yes no here UI button set yes no we could say UI alert well thanks anyway and here if we get if we click the button OK we can say UI alert pleased to meet you now because this is a prompt because we have said this is a prompt and it says will you tell me your name you have to click enter your name and click yes so we get that selected button and this should be not OK this should be yes and we can say pleased to meet you and then get the name response dot get response text so when we click this it's going to first get the UI it's going to prompt and create a dialog with a prompt that says yes or no we're going to see if the user said yes and then we're going to either greet them or say thanks anyway so let's go back to our spreadsheet and if we go to prompts and say prompt user with yes and no and we click no whatever it is we're going to just say well thanks anyway but if we click our menu and say prompt user with yes and no and my name is still Tim so we'll say yes there we go so we can see there we can make that a little bit interactive we have you know it kind of waits for our input and then we can continue running our code now if we want to use a title we can use a title as well we'll just create a function we'll call it prompt user title and uh, in this function we'll do a, a, sim a set of similar things but uh, here we can use we can call this the request for information dialog and then we can kind of do the same thing the only difference will be I'll go ahead and paste that code in the only difference is going to be that we are going to have a title so here you can see this request for information so other than that it's pretty much the same thing and I can even give it a different name operate under an alias there so pretty easy to use prompts in your pro in your spreadsheet. You know you can actually make this somewhat of a program by allowing users to click menus, get information from them, and actually do something in response. So makes this kind of interesting. Makes this a little bit more interactive. Uh, hopefully this was useful for learning a little bit about how to show prompts and how to show alerts and how to get some input from the user. Understand what buttons they clicked. Thanks for watching.